I'm uh, apparatus operator Ryan Harris. Today I'm going to take you through a quick tour of our fire engine. Um, as we come in in the mornings, we, ha we have to do a quick uh, check just to make sure everything is ready to go for our calls and that we're safe to respond to emergencies in the community. Um, I sit here, I drive, uh, we have one firefighter that sits in the back, and we also have a uh, captain who you probably met earlier. Um, he kind of tells us everything to do. Um, we, ha we have to do a lot of safety checks. Um, we have several pieces of equipment that we uh, check off in the morning, but one of the big pieces is our um, SCBAs. Those are the packs that we wear with the mask and we breathe air for when we go on fires. Um, the other gear that we have to put on the rig is our helmet and turnout gear. Um, this protects us from the heat and the smoke uh, when we go on fires as well. Um, some of our equipment on the rig um, that we also use during fires is our hose. We pull this hose off, um, charge it with water. Um, our tank in here has 633 gallons of water and that's what we initially use to fill these hoses. My main job here is when the firefighter pulls these hoses off, I'll pull these levers depending on which hose they pull. I'll pull these levers so I can charge the water. Water levels are here so I know about how much water is left um, and I need to be thinking about the other jobs I need to do as far as um, hooking up to a fire hydrant. So like I talked about before, um, our SCBA uh, packs that we wear in fires, we only can go through about 20 to 30 minutes of air and then we have to come out. So when we do that, we have extra bottles on both sides that we would take out of our air packs and then replace them with these. Moving down here, we just have uh, general tools like hand tools like you would work on your car. As we move around the back here, uh, we carry a couple different ladders on here in case we have to uh, go up on top of a building or there's a bunch of different things we can do with these ladders, but mainly it's um, for getting up on top of roofs and cutting holes on top of roofs uh, when there's a house fire. So once we get on top of the roof, like I talked about, we cut holes in the roof. Um, these are the chainsaws that we would use. Uh, during a motor vehicle accident, traffic control is super important for us. Um, so we use these cones to direct traffic around us um, to protect us from any oncoming vehicles, just to alert them so they know that there's something going on up, up ahead. These are our forcible entry tools. Sometimes when we show up to houses, um, the people aren't always there and so we don't have keys to get in. So these are some quick tools that we can use to open their doors and gain access to their homes. So the majority of our calls are medical calls. Uh, we do go on house fires occasionally and motor vehicle accidents, but most, for the most part, it's medical calls. And we have all types of medical equipment. So earlier you saw me slide down the pole and Dave talked about how quick we have to get down the pole and get uh, to the engine to go on calls. Um, as the firefighters come around, um, there's stuff sitting up like this so they can quickly put it on. We have to be on the road within 90 seconds uh, to go to the emergencies. Once the firefighter is fully dressed, he might look something like this. So usually at the conclusion of the tours, we try to give you a sticker badge and a hat and cool stuff, and hopefully that'll come soon, okay? But um, on that sticker badge, it says Junior Firefighter. And so I just wanted to relate to you, you're watching this video, you care. You care about your community, you care about us and what we do. And so I would like to tell you, you're one of my Junior Firefighters. And in that comes some responsibility. And I think you're ready for that. And one of the things I wanted you to do for me is if you're ever out and about um, and you see something that stands out that doesn't seem normal, like let's say a lighter you know, that they use to start fires, matches, um, a knife laying on the ground in the playground, something like that, you're like, ooh, that looks dangerous. Can you do me a favor as a junior firefighter? Can you go tell your mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, or another adult that you know 
so that they can remove that so nobody gets hurt. I would love that. And again, thank you so much for coming to the tour at Station 2. I'm glad you got to meet us and the police department that serves your area. Love you. Have a great day.